morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the vlog and the theater for the first day of 2020. I almost said 2019, which would be going back in time, which, you know, maybe wouldn't be so bad. Two interesting things this morning from the theater. One, there was somebody sleeping at the staff door or the only door to get in. <laughs> she was like, everybody's, they're all really nice because the theater treats them with respect. So they treat us with respect. So like she got up and moved right away, but it was like, the entire space with a shopping cart and everything. So that was fun. And she's like, oh, I didn't think anybody used the store. I'm like, this is the only door we use, but it's fine. Also, Christmas is still set up. So that was a thing I was not expecting when I came in, which means that maybe they'll need help taking Christmas down today at some point. I don't know. Also, the chairs are all in weird places and I don't like it. And half the tags for the art have fallen down. So I'll probably try to collect those and put them back on the art pieces. It's like the fourth time I've done this for this show. But that's cool. I'm kind of tired. I got about four and hours and 40 minutes of sleep last night. <laughs> Sorry for that. My brain just didn't know how to process the thing I was seeing in my head. But I'll probably survive. It's forecasting for snow later today. So I'm, I usually wear sweatpants to work because I'm a lazy little blob but um i wear the long sweatpants the thick sweatpants today just in case later it is snowing got the toque on we'll be all right hopefully maybe and then i'm regretting the fact that i need to go for a 30 minute walk today it's fine i'm gonna go i'm gonna have a breakfast drink and then get started if i don't have to help with the christmas decorations it will be a short day because this is just like a, hey, the year's back, let's just like get ducks in a row. If I do have to help with the Christmas decorations, it'll probably take a little bit longer. It's fine. Stop saying that, ugh. So this is what happens when your backpack has an exploding can of pop in it. Had to take everything out. This is also my second time recording this clip because when I went to turn off my transmitter, I realized it hadn't been on in the first place and I turned it on instead of turning it off. It's fine. So, <laughs> I was at work and I went to go on my break and I was grabbing probably like my, um, hi, how you doing? <laughs> my utensils i don't know if you could see my hand but i was just anyways i was grabbing my utensils i was like oh it's wet down here and then i pulled out some papers that were wet they were just staff meeting notes which i just throw in my backpack and then just threw away like a couple months later i was like oh this is wet i'm like this is too much liquid for my water bottle because it had a little bit out of it and i kind of looked a little bit closer and all around my backpack on the chair that i had it left on it was just stain liquid stain and then i realized it was my pop can that was in the front of my backpack awesome fortunately i had a couple things going for me most things in my backpack are in if not water resistant waterproof bags or whatnot so that was good also my camera was not in there nor my transmitter so like no no worries there and then my backpack has a front cooler area which the pop was in so it was contained from everything else so no, it didn't like explode over everything it just exploded in its own little situation leaked everywhere but that did mean that when i got home i had to like rinse out my backpack take everything out rinse off the outside and also at the theater i had to find and break out the carpet slash upholstery cleaner thingy and um so now there's one really clean chair in the theater lobby <laughs> It was real bad. It took like half an hour to like make sure it was fully clean and also not soaking wet. I think I did a good job. We'll find out like Monday. I'll check on it. Uh, but yeah, so that's fun. So I guess that's just going to stay there for a while. It is currently uh, 1225 and I need to go make myself some food because I'm pretty hungry. And then at some point here, it is pouring rain, by the way. But at some point here, I need to go out for my 30 minute walk. Mwah. Mwah. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's just it's just water. I probably should shower today anyways because I can't remember when I last showered. It was the 29th. Four days ago. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it's the 29th. Yeah, because that was our last full day up on the mountain. Went in the hot tub, then showered. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so... You know, if I get soaking wet, I'll just shower. I have a feeling like as I'm trying to be more active this year, I'm going to have to shower more regularly than I do. It makes me kind of sad. I don't like getting, I don't mind rain. 
This is a weird thing. I don't mind rain, but I don't like being like, oh, I'm going to go jump in the shower and get wet. Just not a fan of, like, getting wet sometimes. It sounds really inappropriate, but it's not, I promise. Anyways, I'm going to go. I'm starving. I need to make food. And then I will check in with you afterwards. Well, I ate food. <laughs> it is now uh, just about 2 o'clock. Google tells me it's snowing outside. <laughs> But we can't put this off any longer. <laughs> so I'm just trying to decide if I want to go in runners or if I just want to wear my boots. I think runners is probably the go-to. Did I just slip off my pajama pants? Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to put on my girls supporting girls sweatpants over my booty. <laughs> Um, because I think they're like the only sweatpants that I have that are full length nowadays. Actually, you know what? I think I have a gray pair. I, I wore them earlier to work because we ain't got no dress code. Speaking of girls supporting girls, I got a Tarte package today, which is Adeline Morin's eyeshadow palette, which I'm not going to open until I get back. It's going to be my reward. Should I go like all the way and wear my girls supporting girls toque? Could I wear my girls supporting girls hoodie? I could. <laughs> Am I gonna? Probably not. I think I'll be, I feel like I'll be warm enough in this with my jacket on. Ugh. I'm not looking, it's only half an hour, Tiffany. It's only half an hour. We tooked up. We buffed up. We're gonna go. I will bring my GoPro but we'll see what happens. I will catch you on the other side if nothing else. Like a bird on a tree. It's really wet. I managed to get to about 11 I'm minutes before I just straight up found a puddle. I wasn't paying attention. It's so wet. We're almost halfway through. It's I hate everything. <sighs> From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. You and me. Yeah. I am soaking wet. Yeah, can you see me? I don't know. I need to go shower or something. There were so many puddles and it started snowing. <laughs> My socks are drenched. I am drenched. Everything is cold. It wasn't snowing when I first started, but it started sleeting while I was out there. Oh, but I did it. Just did it. Barely did it. I need to hang this up. It's gross. I did 30 minutes and one second. <laughs> I, I walked 15 minutes away and then I turned around and walked back. But I think by that point, I was very grateful for this, let me just say, because I had to cover my face because it was so wet. Anyway, like I was saying, I think I walked faster on the way back. Even my t-shirt's wet because it was sticking out. Uh, I think I walked faster on the way back, so I was like, uh, this is going quicker than I hoped it would, but I got to the door at 30 minutes, so we did it. Oh my, I just stepped on my sweatpants and they like, <laughs> wow, they're so wet. They're so wet. This is all wet. You can't, that's, that looks like a dry patch. You can tell at the top, wet, dry patch. Wow. So anyway, that was fun. <laughs> Uh, everything is wet. I say it like I'm surprised. I'm not. I expected this. Oh, I already feel better having most of those layers off. I think I'm going to jump in the shower now and then um, try to work on my list because I have quite a few things to do today. It's mostly computer work. I should probably also do some writing, but mostly computer work. So that's not so bad. So I think I'm going to jump in. Am I going to jump in the shower? You should shower. I'm going to shower. I'm going to shower. I'm going to shower. I'm going to shower. If I say it enough times, it'll happen, right? Anyway, we're going to do that. Get into some warm clothes and um, get to work. And it is currently, if you're wondering, 
quarter to three because I dragged my feet a little bit getting outside as you might imagine. Alrighty, so I am now clean. I also put on self-tanner because I've had it since November and we'll see if we regret this later. <laughs> I was really cold. I want it to feel warm. Anyway, tart. I had to rip off the entire packing slip to get it open because it was all down the side. Which is fine because then I don't have to worry about my address being there. So, I said what's in here before. It's the Adeline Morn Tart collab. They didn't include my sample. And I'm a little sad about that. Oh, you know what? No, I definitely picked a sample for this one. Hmm. Interesting. I've been ordering a lot of stuff from Tart lately, so. Oh, look, here's a gift coupon. Wow, my brain just stopped for 15% off. Use code GIFT for you if you want 15% off. Anyway, here is the palette. Here is the back. I was going to order it when it first came out, and then I was like, I don't know if I'll really wear those colors, and then I just did it. <laughs> I'm the worst. Uh, ooh, it's very nice. I'm very digging the, like, gold and lemons. I've heard that the color promise ring is just, like, for a highlighter, so that's kind of the main reason I got it. But here it is, in all its glory, more makeup to play with. I'm the worst. <laughs> I legitimately have more makeup coming too, don't judge me. Or judge me, it's fine. I don't care. Anyway, I'm just gonna chill for a bit now. I've crossed off a couple things on my list. I think I'm gonna sit down, well I'm sitting down now, but I think I'm going to remain sitting and post a blog here soon. I have an email that I need to edit for someone. It's gonna be a fair amount of work. It not good. <laughs> it's fine. And then, um, yeah, not a ton to do. I need to drink a lot of water today because I haven't even had one of these today, like a full one, so that's bad. But we will get there. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna go and um, something rather. Yo, I have adulted so hard today. It's not, it's, everything is crossed off my list except for editing this vlog and uploading it. Bam. So one of the things I had to do, I think I mentioned, was edit an essay, not an essay, an email. So that is done and that is sent off. I sent my own invoice for the work that I have been doing for the invoicing. It's a weird thing to send an invoice for invoicing, but that is what I did. So that is responsible. I made my bed. <laughs> I reached out to a friend who needs a little bit of extra love right now, so I did that. I'm just annoying her every day with messages. Sorry! <laughs> More like sorry, not sorry. And um, yeah, I like did a bunch of computer work that I needed to. The only thing I haven't done is like actual writing, but we're still slowly easing into that. I'm thinking, wow, it's 2020. I mean, I know that, but I just saw it on my computer screen and it's different to see it than to know it. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to try to write on Saturday and Sunday because I'm off both of those days. And oh, it is squishy. Oh, it is squishy. If you wonder why I sometimes don't get things done, it's because stuff like that happens. Anyway, I'm planning on writing this weekend. I've, I've laid out a goal of one chapter each day. Hopefully I can do more than that. And maybe after this weekend, I will be done adding everything to it and then I can just edit. I also need to, a friend of mine has decided to self-publish a children's book, Jessica's husband, and so he sent me two copies to look at because I think he's just going crazy and she's going crazy and they can't look at it anymore. So that'll be on the list for tomorrow, hopefully. It's like when, you, when people know you write, they're just like, can you edit this for me or can you look at this for me? <laughs> it's fine, I, I, I do enjoy it, but it, and, and I know that other people do the same for me. But I'm rambling now, so what I was trying to get at, it is 20 to 9, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go curl up under that blanket over there. That's such a cool blanket. I'm gonna curl up under the blanket over there, and I'm gonna read a little bit of my book, because that is another 2020 goal. Look at me go! <laughs> yeah. I'm really proud of myself today, not gonna lie. I know that it's only day two of, what, 366 this year? I think it's leap year, but... You know, that's still a percentage of the way through. <laughs> oh, and I've been drinking water, really. Like this is now my second, third? I think third, yeah. 
yeah third good job me all right we out for now Alrighty. well i read like four chapters and i ate a bunch of garlic bread and it is now quarter after 11 and i think it is time to end the vlog and go to sleep don't work tomorrow so that's nice I'm also under my blanket. I love it. Um, so with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure where we did all the adulting and such. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow. We do very similar things. Good night. Bye.